okay now we are going to see the another uh, sum divisible by 6 that is the uh, rules of divisibility we are going to see everything under the rules of divisibility that is divisible by 6 so if the number divisible by both 2 and 3 it is divisible by 6 that is the rules of divisible by 6 if the number divisible by both 2 and 3 is it is divisible by what 6 so now we are going to do the exercise that is some problem 42 32 120 28 200 so these are the numbers is given in the question so first we have to take the 42 so the 42 is div divided by 2 and also 3 if the rules is uh, if it is divided by 2 and 3 the rules is accepted the rules is uh, and uh, the rules is accepted and also it is automatically divisible by 6 okay now uh, the same thing the 32 it, the 32 is divided by 2 and also 3 so if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3 so this rules is applicable that is it this number that is that means the 32 is divisible by 6 okay so first i'm going to do 42 what is this 42 so 42 is divisible by 2 means of course it ends with 2 so automatically it's divisible by 2 so if you want you can verify that 42 divisible by 2 actually you should not uh, do this directly you have to what 2 is ends with 2 so automatically it is divisible by 2 but why should i do for your clarification i'll do this actually it's not no need to do this for your uh, no need to do this that's it so 2 twos are 4 so and bring down the 2 so 2 ones are 2 again 0 I'll repeat 42. 42 is divided by 2. So 2, 2s are 4. 4 is here. So 4 minus 4, you can get 0. So bring down the next digit, that is 2. So 2, 1s are 2. It is also 2 minus 2, we can get 0. So 42 is divisible by 2. Next, the same number is divisible by what? 3. 42 is divisible by 3. So 42 is divisible by 3. That is what? 1, 3s are 3. So, 4 minus 3 what you can get? 1. The next you have to bring down 2. So, 4 3s are 12 again. So, 14. The answer question, quotient is what? 14 and the reminder is 0. So, 42 is divided by 2 and 3. Okay. So, this number is divisible by 6. So, the rules is applicable for this number. That is 42 is divided by both 2 and 3. So, it is automatically divisible by 6. So, you have to circle it. Next, what? 32. We are going to take 32. So, ends with 2. Automatically, it is divisible by what? 2. Anyhow, if you want to check, you can check. You can use the check method. I am going to do the next is what? 32 is divisible by 3 or not? 32 is divisible by 3 means it is not divisible by 3. How could you say you want to check it? So, 32 is divisible by 3. 1, 3 is a 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. The next what? 2. So, you can't divide the number. So, it might just put 0 here. So, quotient is what? 10 and the reminder is what? 2. So, if the reminder any number, so that number is not divisible by any other number that is 3 3 is not divisible so okay so 32 is divisible only by 2 but not by 3 so this rule is not applicable so you should not circle this number that means 32 is divisible by 2 you can get the quotient is what the answer is quotient that is quotient is 16 the reminder is what 0 so it is divisible by what 2 if you want a simplification version it ends with 2, so automatically it is divisible by 2. Next is 32 is divisible divided by 3. So, it is not divisible because the number is a what? Even number. So, it is not divisible by 3. So, anyhow, if you divide means if you want to check the method, quotient was 10, the reminder is 3. Always reminder, I have told you, reminder must come 0. It is divisible. It is if the reminder is 0 only, it is divisible by any number. So, specifically, if you want it divided by 32, is divisible by 3 or not means it is not divisible because the reminder is 3. So, this rule is not applicable because it is divisible only by 2 but not divisible by 3. So, it is not divisible by 6. So, you should just put a cross. So, no need to put a cross also. 
you should not circle it that is very important next is 120 120 is divided by 2 means yes it is divided by 2 because the last digit is an even number so already told you isn't it, isn't it? if it is divisible by 2 means what is the rule it ends with 0 2 4 6 and 8 so this number is divisible by 2 because ends with what 0 so this is what is divisible by 2 120 is divisible by 2 that quotient is what 60 and reminder is equal to 0 it is for your verification no need to do this okay then 120 and also divided by 3 whether it is divisible by 3 yes it is divisible by 3 how could you say so 120 divided by 3 just check it 3 4s are 12 so if you subtract 0 the remind in the last digit you have to add add it to the top bring it to the top so answer is quotient is 40 the reminder is 0 so it is divisible by what divisible by divisible by 2 and 3 2 and 3 so this rule is applicable if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3 it is divisible by 6 so you have to circle it okay the next number is what 28 28 is divisible by 2 yes it is divisible by 2 because the last digit ends with what even number that is 8 so it is divisible by what 2 it quotient is 14 and reminder is 0 you can say the tables you can find out easily then what is the next is 28 is divisible by 3 or not that is a question it is not divisible by 3 because 28 is not divisible by 3 because if you want to divide you can divide this 28 divided by 3 that means 9 threes are 27 and the reminder is what 1 so if the reminder is any number it is not divisible by the particular number so 28 is not divisible by 3 so this rule is not applicable because the rule is what it, if the number is divisible by 6 you have to the sorry um, if the number is divisible by uh, by what divisible by 6 both uh, that both 2 and 3 both 2 and 3 uh, is divisible by 6 if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3 the number is divisible by 6 in this sum in this uh, problem 28 is divisible only by 2 but not divided by 3 so it is not divisible by 6 so the rules is not applicable the rules is not applicable because if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3 only it is divisible by 6 so only 28 is divisible by 2 but not by 3 so it is not divisible by 6 so rules is not applicable then next is 200 so go to 200 so 200 means is divisible by 2 because I told you it ends with 0 so it is divisible by 2 then quotient is what 100 and reminder is what 0 that you know it next is 200 is divisible by 3 it is not divisible by 3 because it is an even number it is 3 is an odd number so it is not divisible by 3 if you want you can check it so 200 divided by 3 6 threes are 18 the reminder is 2 bring down this digit again 60s 6 threes are 18 2 so quotient is 66 and reminder is what 2 so if the reminder is any number it is not divisible by the particular number that i've told you already so 200 is divisible by 2 but it is not divisible by what 3 so this rules is not applicable for this number that means if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3 both 2 and 3 only it is divisible by 6 so 200 is not divisible by 6 so only two numbers that is 42 and 100 20 these two number is divisible by 6 so you can circle only these two number